If you play games like some of these, then audio is absolutely crucial and can give you a solid advantage. I make content and live stream first person shooters, mainly Escape from Tarkov, and that game is notorious for having audio basically be a necessity and giving you an edge or a disadvantage if you don't have the right setup. Something as trivial as turning a laser on and off, aiming down your sights, or even turning enough without moving that shifting your weight can be heard and used against you. Enter the Sennheiser HD 599. There's a reason I made this video. This headset slaps. It's an open back design, contrary to many gaming marketed headsets which have a closed back design, which really allows for you to make use of that full sound stage and have the most accuracy and presentation of what you're listening to, period. Now sure, there are pros and cons to each having an open back versus a closed back headset. If you're playing next to a sleeping partner or you're playing in a chaotic kitchen or a, a noisy environment, maybe it's not the headset for you. But if you have a dedicated gaming space, a basement, in your bedroom, wherever where it's quiet and you don't really have to worry about sound leaking out of your headphones, I can tell you right now there's pretty much no going back. One thing this headset does not have is a microphone. Since I do live streaming and gaming content on YouTube, I have a dedicated mic already set up. A lot of people may not. You can get a USB microphone pretty cheap that just gets the job done, especially if you're just looking to use the VoIP or talk to your teammates, talk on Discord. Now that being said, I'm not really an audiophile or tech reviewer, so I'm not gonna hit you with all the specs, this very specific Hertz range or any of that stuff. I'm just gonna give you a real hands-on idea of what you can expect from this headset as a daily driver. Now, personally to me, there's three things that make a headset just good or bad. One is comfort. I've had a few spine injuries and some health related issues that really find it hard for me to pick a headset that won't cause pain or aches after wearing it for a long period of time. I will say these are better than expected compared to the last couple wireless headsets I've used, the Logitech G Pro, the SteelSeries Artist 7P, the Razer Black Shark, and one that I'm forgetting. This is actually very light and the pads instead of that like fake leather or leather feel they're like this very soft cushion that are actually very comfortable. I have to say from someone that's very picky with their comfort these are 10 out of 10. You guys probably want to hear the most important category is the sound. Hands down it's not even a contest in my opinion. The sound, the fullness that you get, accuracy of, of where the sounds are coming from, the different pitches and the separation between the tones. I'm sure there's audiophile lingo for that stuff. It's almost night and day. I could never go back to those headsets after using this headset. Now, I also use this headset for everything else I do, video production, watching content, and they're excellent in that regard as well. I got these for $150 about two or three weeks ago. I just saw they recently dropped to $129. You know, Black Friday and stuff like that is coming up, so who knows, they might even get cheaper. I'm not sponsored, especially not through like Sennheiser or, or anything like that, so there's nobody paying me to recommend this headset, but I do have an associate link in the description to Amazon, as with the rest of my gaming gear, my computer, rig, stuff like that, that I use. I only use gear that I like, and I wouldn't recommend stuff that I wouldn't use myself, and I'm rather picky with my stuff. If you click on it and I happen to get a few cents, and that's great, thank you very much for that. And if you buy them from somewhere else or something like that, hey, I just, just let me know in the comments below if you like them, and if this video helped you make a decision. If you're looking for some Tarkov audio tips, check this out right here.